I want to say 03 is when I started, you know, like I had a track and started actually coming out here and riding. Basically, I came out here with Tim Perry in, in 02 and spent the summer out here and just loved it because it was more like, I mean, Ellie and I grew up in in smaller town than, than this, so it just felt a little bit more normal for us. So a lot of people come and go, oh my gosh, it's out in the middle of nowhere where we actually came here and actually felt normal. You know, we got two Supercross tracks, uh, only one's rideable right now. I'd, you know, with, with the off-season that I had, or, or the lack of, I didn't, you know, I didn't need a track, um, let alone two, so I only did the one. We got a go-kart track, and then obviously my motocross track. My race shop is pretty much fully workable. You know, any time that, like, I have the team guys and, and things like that over the years, we, we have everything that we could possibly have to test and do, you know, do all the things uh, that we do to the bikes out here. I, it's... You know, everything's always for sale, right, for the right price, but uh, there's a part of me that, I, you know, it has some sentimental value for sure. You know, I've spent basically the good part of the last 15 years, you know, driving driving out here, so it's it's become my normal uh, morning routine, you know, get up, drive to the track, so I have to come out here. I really enjoy the bike, to be honest with you. I really like it. I love how light it is. I love the, you know, like just the actual feel of it. There's a lot to learn. You can't come in with the mentality of everything you, that you know from the aluminum frame, you know? Like, it's, it is definitely unique in, in what it likes. You know, certain things that it's wanting and what it likes is things that we probably wouldn't have thought about. It doesn't all flow in at one time, but it's kind of like here and there, we get a little bit of flow of some information that's really useful, so. But I think, you know, just not having knowledge, you know, and not having a, a direct support from, you know, from those guys to be able to, and, and when I say that, they've actually been really kind and, and they're helping a lot, but definitely a lot of the information you got to sometimes dig for it rather than it just become unknown. So, which I actually, to be honest with you, I actually like that, you know, like if I was in charge of any of these teams, you know, like I would run the ship the same, maybe even be worse because at the end of the day, you're, you know, it's racing and your competitors are your competitors. So I, I respect what, you know, what's happening. I, I like moto. I wouldn't mind doing maybe a couple in the, in the later part of the season. Depending on how it all works out, I would really like to do the Nations this year and then that be my last ever motocross race. You know, represent Australia, you know, whether, whether I'm on the list of people that they would want to be on the team or not, I'm not sure. If there's a chance that I could do that, then I'll do the last couple of nationals or something like that so I could, you know, get, get some testing in and, and, and possibly even do Red Bud. Um, but yeah, for me, motocross is done, you know, like I, I just don't have the desire to do it, you know, and, and I would imagine that this is how people feel about the sport in general when they retire, you know. Motocross, I feel like I'm, I'm good. I, I don't have anything to prove. The enjoyment is there, but it's not, it's not that high. So I feel like that box is being ticked and, and, I'm, and I'm happy to you know, get to spend the summer with my family and, and, and doing things that I, that I wanna do. So uh, the Supercross thing is, it still burns deep and still feel and, and wanna be better every day, so. I feel like as long as I feel like that is as long as I want to keep racing.